All right, I am tired. I didn't get anything all morning. I tried to get one early on in pins. I didn't get a fill. And then it was Friday, so I got stubborn and I just decided to sit around until I did get something. So eventually found a nice popper here in the afternoon in APRN. We're going to break it down, check it out. Let's trade. All right, so the one and only trade today was in APRN. You can see it popping nicely here, starting to alert into the 15 area here on the scanner. So I'm looking for a move up through the 660s. It's now hitting on the and the 20s on the scanner. So it gets through there for just a second and pulls back. I'm like, ah, no, maybe I missed it. I hope I didn't miss it, but now we get through the 60s and I go ahead and get a fill here with 300 shares short with an average of 661. And I am now looking for a move through 681. So at least get 20 cents out of a move here if it wants to continue higher. It gets up to like 675, 676, something like that. Does not quite get up through that 680 level. So I end up not getting an ad in here in APRN, which was frustrating, but you know, sometimes that's how it goes. You can't always hit the exact top. Then I actually had some good patience. I was trying to wait for this thing to break down through 640, but it was just kind of hanging on here to 640 for a while. So once I saw that there's kind of a wall forming there, I go ahead and hit half the shares there. I take 150 off at 642 with the hopes that this thing would just continue down below 630 into the 620s with the remaining 150 shares. But once I saw that wall there at 642, possibly trying to bounce off of the 20 SMA there, I decided just to take half off. And especially because at this point of the day, I should have been in bed three hours ago. I was happy to even be making some money in a trade. So at this point, I'm hoping for it to pop no, not pop, continue to fall back to the downside, looking for it through 630s, but it's getting really slow. It's hanging on to this 640 range, so I'm starting to tell myself, all right, if I see signs that this thing is going to move higher, I will probably just close it out and call it a day and go to bed since I should have been in bed and sleeping already. But at least we're going to go five for five all green days this week and have a pretty decent week overall. Uh, up over the goal for the week. So we're watching it here and you can see the bid starting to stack up a little bit and the ask is getting thinner. You can see a much more stack there on the 643s than on the 646. So I see that and I will give it a second. I'm like, all right, let's just cover it out there. Take our $52 win and move on with the day. And that's going to do it for the week. So a fully green week. If you guys didn't see all the other videos, it started off really hot on Monday with a $250 day and kind of was a little bit slower throughout the rest of the week. But overall, I think up somewhere 650 ish something like that on the week. So I'll take it. Can't complain at all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'll see you later.